Can you eat steak that's brown? I mean brown before you cook it. Yes. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jess Prowls from Hardcore Carnivore, and I like talking a lot about meat, meat science, meat info, meat myth busting, and every week I upload a new video, so if you like this one, make sure to keep coming back and check them out. But today, you can see I have these beautiful pink ribeye steaks in front of me, and I'm sure that y'all have all been in a situation where you've gone to the grocery store and you've bought a piece of meat like this that is maybe on one of those foam trays and it looks incredible on this side and then you get it home and you flip it over and the inside or the other side is brown. Just like that, okay? Just like that there. And I'm here to tell you that this is totally normal and totally safe and totally fine, okay? So these two I actually had in the fridge together and you can see a corresponding mark on either side from when they were laying on each other. Because the thing that gives, uh, the thing that gives meat its color, I was about to say blood, but the thing that gives it its color is called myoglobin. It is the red. And myoglobin is pretty cool because it's kind of like a shapeshifter. It keeps changing, right? So if, I were to put this in a vacuum seal and get rid of all of the oxygen and seal it up, you'll find that the meat will go super, super pale and lose a lot of that rosy color. And that's why often when you do take meat out of vac seal, it can look a little kind of anemic, but then with the introduction of oxymyoglobin, so when oxygen hits that myoglobin, it blooms to become that beautiful red color again. So check it out the next time you take meat out of vac seal, you'll see it kind of bloom in color. But another state is called metmyoglobin, and that's exactly what this is. So this is meat that has not been exposed to oxygen. So it's basically been suffocating each other by sitting on top of one another, and the myoglobin has turned brown. So there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's not off. I mean, it, sm it doesn't smell like anything, which is kind of what a good steak should smell like. It's... Uh, it's to be really delicious to eat. Uh, but you will know if meat is off. If meat is off, you will smell it well before you have to lean your nose in to sniff it out. So if you are in a situation where you bring a steak home, you turn it over, or any piece of meat for that matter, red meat for that matter, and it's this color on the underside, just know that it's safe to eat. And if in doubt, trust your nose. Like I said, you're gonna know if it's off. But for now, don't be afraid of that brown steak.